Okay, Sagittarius. Sagittarius first house. Sagittarius rising or if you have a Sagittarius ascendant. They are the sign that can really be focused with what they want in that in life. And they can really attain success in it. They are ruled by Jupiter, all about expansion, learning. That is probably why they love to travel. They like to pursue um, unconventional things. Uh, they are willing to take a risk. They are. Um, they love game. Actually, they love games, and um, their way of thinking is ruled by Aquarius. So you know, it could be very unique. They are very interested in the occult, very interested in things that are not of the traditional side of stuff. So they can be interested with, you know, meditation, with the spiritual side. And this is because they do also have their fourth house in Pisces, you know. This is something to do with their inner self, not just with their family and home life. Something that they have inside of them. Also with that 12th house, in um in the sign of scorpio you know it's easy for them to really get access to the hidden stuff hidden knowledge those kinds of things so maybe they are interested with astrology with the occult with law of attraction there's going to be a lot of sagittarius rising very much interested with those kinds of things what is quite inspiring about this sign is that you know they have a clear vision of what they want they're not um, modest when it comes to what their goal in life is and I really think that a lot of people lacks this you know they don't have so much ambition and even if they do they don't have a clear vision but with um with Sagittarius racing they have their night house in Leo so you know they're all about big bold better i want to achieve this maybe you're thinking about i want to be the president of the united states of america you know they, they have a very clear vision or like i want to earn 10 million dollars within a month you know they have that bold um bold topic of achievement that they want to have and they want to take a grasp on that. They will make it happen. They're, they have that energy to that. Maybe because they have their second house in Capricorn, they're willing to make some form of effort into things. Though, this can mean that, you know, the things that they want to earn, they can earn a lot of money, but it will take time. It's not usually fast, but um, there are tendency for Sagittarius rising to to desire immediate results when it comes to earning money. Maybe because they have a tendency to be lazy um, because of their sixth house in Taurus. So they can be, you know, this can happen in two things. They can be someone who is very patient or they can be someone who is very impatient so they can either be lazy or can be a very hard worker so there is two sides of the coin here and it will really depend now on the aspects and the planetary alignment that's happening on one's chart but eventually um the key the key feature for sagittarius rising people is that you know they can earn a lot of money but it will take time for it to grow and once it grows it's like it's it can create some form of stability in them it's like you know a one day millionaire <laughs> but after a whole bunch of effort so they need to work hard in something and really make an effort for things to um manifest for things to produce some form of result and with their fourth house though um because this is in the in pisces they can be quite emotional especially in relation to their fe own feelings and in relation to their home life most of the time so you know even though they may not admit that sometimes they are more affected by their home environment as well so um 
Another feature for Sagittarius rising people is that they can easily get sick. And this is because um, they have a weak energy system because of that second house in Capricorn. So it's not easy for them to regain um, loss of energy. You know, they're not able to, you know, it's not easy for them to, to heal, I would say. Not very easy for them to heal because of that second house in Capricorn. So it does take time for them to regain vitality of some sort. So um, yeah, they need to know how to draw boundaries because it's easy for them to absorb the energies of the people that they interact with. They're, they can interact with people very fast though. They can easily connect with people. They do have Gemini in their seventh house okay they do have Gemini in their seventh house so Gemini in the seventh house is a very um, controversial situation because this can make them easily connect with people it doesn't have to be a romantic partner but with different people they can easily you know relate to them they can easily talk to them and sometimes you know this requires them to have some form of mental stimulation with their partners they need to be entertained there is always something new that has to happen in their partnerships there has to be some form of activity right there because if nothing is happening um, there is a risk of them you know um, giving up on their relationship suddenly don't suddenly they are not wanting to continue that relationship or finding themselves uh, you know connecting with a different person and that is the reason why you will notice that a lot of Sagittarius rising people can um, can cheat. You know, I don't want to say all Sagittarius rising people are like this, but there are cases that when they are when there is a lack of lack of mental stimulation in their partnership and lack of activity right there they can you know switch their energy and switch their focus elsewhere and yeah but eventually though as they grow old they can have they can form a sense of loyalty with their partners so um yeah there is that when their fifth with their fifth house in aries this will make them um suddenly wanting things pushing through things acting on things without much thought so there is a situation we're in, okay, I want this girl, I want this guy. Without thinking of whatever consequence they are going into, you know. They don't know what, what they are going into or <laughs> what the future might be in that situation. But when it comes to fun, when it comes to romantic situations, when it comes to, you know, their immaturity in life, they can just go for it and think later and that's the reason why they can shift from one person to another because of that um, because you know sometimes after they take ownership and possession to that person they suddenly lose interest and then suddenly they decide that oh I kind of don't like this person anymore <laughs> they have that tendency we're in okay I like this girl A and after getting girl A, after some time, suddenly they lose interest or, you know, they switch their attention to a different person because of that. Because of that, you know, Aries, a short attention span. I kind of feel like sneezing. <laughs> so, um, like I said earlier, they have their um, they're weak energetically so they need to protect themselves and this is because they have cancer in their eighth house so they are very susceptible with people's energy they're very susceptible to people's energy so if there is some form of negativity in there if they're absorbing the negative environment and all that that can really take a toll on them so if you are a Sagittarius rising and you find yourself maybe becoming sick and all of that then maybe take it on a very spiritual approach maybe it's time for you to cleanse energetically because 
you can really be affected by it. I know not everyone approves of that. Not everyone believes in energy, but that's reality. I mean, energy is everything in this world and scientists has already um, approved of that fact. So yeah, you might need to work on that. And maybe you can, you know, shift your sickness or maybe you can, you can have um, some form of help to heal that sickness or whatever you are dealing with right now. You do have their, the 10th house in the sign of Virgo. So they are really the type of people that can easily notice things. So if there are problems, you know, they are the type of person that, you know, can be suited as a team player, can be suited as a managerial person or something like that they can really work with people and they can be very caring to the people they're working with. They're also the type of person that can notice the details and help improve some form of situation. Though sometimes they can be quite um, confused as well, you know, focusing on the little details and missing out one thing. That can happen. But for the most part, they're really the best one to go to. Um, if you need someone who is very attentive of details and things So um, yeah importance of having a harmonious environment is very important to them Harmonious connections with people and they have a fancy eye when it comes to things that are attractive and beautiful all at the same time so you will also find that if you are a Sagittarius rising or if you know someone who is a Sagittarius rising um, they will usually find love true love or you know some form of partnership romantic partnership um, with the people that they already know it could be with a group of people, maybe in a social environment, maybe in a reunion, you know, it is within the group of friends. They usually meet up. They usually meet someone right there. Very rarely that <laughs> they meet someone just out of the blue on a one-on-one -on -one session or in a blind date. Very rarely it happens like that. Usually it's with a group of people. They will find someone attracted, attractive right there. Also, um, they are the type of people that, you know, when they fall in love, they can really go all out. So one of the best things about Sagittarius Rising people is that they can really take a risk, especially when they're in love, when their emotions are supporting it. So, um, yeah, they can really fall in love and take a risk in that. Basically, the thing here is that they can easily fall in love and they can easily fall out of love. So, yeah, you I kind of feel that, you know, a lot of Sagittarius rising people are quite high maintenance because you need to fulfill everything that they need. You know, you need to please them to make them stay around with you. Though, of course, that is not always the case for every Sagittarius rising people, but it can definitely happen. So um, yeah, I think I've mentioned um, a, a lot of this stuff. Also, yeah, they do have that 12th house in the sign of Scorpio, so they can actually feel a whole lot of things inside of them, more than you realize, more than they show. So most of the times, you know, I can ramble on and on about Sagittarius rising people about here, but you'll never really know what the Sagitt Sagittarius rising person is they hide a lot of things inside of them and sometimes they can hold grudges for quite a while one thing i really like about them is that you know even though they're one of the most optimistic kind of people they're you know they don't believe in everything you know they know how to doubt things unless it has been proven so i think you know that is something very important as a person because it it doesn't allow you to get fooled very easily as well so um yeah one of the most luckiest fortunate intelligent people and they are the type of people that you know once they have a goal in mind they are gonna do something about it and that is why we have a lot of successful 
successful people that are Sagittarius rising. So I actually have a lot of samples here with me about Sagittarius rising people like Elvis Presley. This person is a uh, Sagittarius rising. And like I said, there's a lot of musicians that are um, Sagittarius rising like um, Eminem is also Sagittarius Rising. Paris Hilton, Oprah Winfrey, we also have Kim Kardashian. Kim Kardashian has a son in Libra, so you will see that, you know, perfect figure all around her body, you know. It's like you can see a lot of curves, but at the same time, it has that symmetry going on right there. Uh, we also have Princess Diana. Princess Diana has, you know, Cancer Sun and MC in Libra. So it has a more soft nature to it. Not really that bubbly and flamboyant or anything like that. Paris Hilton has the moon in Leo. Um, I've noticed that, you know, if Leo or Aquarius is becoming prominent in, in their chart or at the, at the cardinal signs at least, um, they can be someone who is going to be really, really well known, like Oprah Winfrey, Paris Hilton, uh, Brad Pitt as well. I also have here Jennifer Lawrence and Scarlett Johansson. So they are all, you know, they they tend to have, you know, that model-like bodies at them. So um, yeah, Paris Hilton. Um, I kind of forgot her other ch her other configurations, but um, Paris Hilton has a square face, square shaped face or so. So you know, it it had it has that feature of you know some form of widening, which is one of the features of a Sagittarius person. So um yeah, I hope this. Sagittarius video has helped you guys, giving you short glimpses of insight of what you should know all about Sagittarius rising people. So um, yeah, if you like this video, please hit that like button, share, and subscribe to my channel. I really would appreciate that and I'll see you on my next video.